hello how are you wherever you're watching this video from kindly note that this is Sechamba Jacob and uh, in this video we are going to discuss one biology topic which is organism and metabolism so we'll first define what organism is so if I were to ask you to define what an organism is, what are you going to say? All right. So an organism is an individual form of life yeah, that is capable um, of growing, reproducing, and has at least one cell. So this is uh, how you can define uh, organism. And if you want, you can put it in very simpler term by saying it is uh, anything that uh, has got life. So anything that has life. So when we say anything that has life, in this case, we we are talking about anything that has the seven characteristics okay of life so the seven characteristics are feeding okay uh, growing respiration respiration okay respiration reproducing 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 we've got uh, locomotion Sensitivity, Sen sensitivity, and uh, excretion. So, anything, okay, that has got life, we expect it to have the following characteristics. So the characteristics that we're talking about are feeding, uh, growing, respiration, reprodu reproducing, locomotion, sensitivity, and uh, excretion. All right. So now we talk about the characteristics of an organism. Like I said, there are seven of them. So one of them is feeding. So this feeding will say... Feeding is just the bringing in of food. So, bringing in of food. Okay? So, this is a, a simple definition that I can give you. So, all the organisms are expected to feed. Okay, so like human beings, so say e.g. human beings, okay, human beings, they feed from, um, or oh, they feed themselves, shima, if you know shima, that's uh, Zambian food, rice, Uh, animals like uh, like goats etc so this is uh, what we are talking about uh, feeding okay so the other characteristic is uh, respiration so when we talk about respiration this is just uh, the also, it's a bringing 
in or bringing in air bringing air in and uh, out okay so uh, respiration is just uh, the gaseous gaseous exchange that takes place so for example when uh, you breathe in you breathe in oxygen that's the human being you breathe in oxygen what comes out is uh, carbon 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 oxide carbon oxide so this is what you expect to come out right so actually here uh, it's carbon dioxide carbon dioxide all right so that's what happens this applies to plants so when plants bring in or take in um, carbon dioxide they bring out oxygen so this is it what happens let's try to see another one we've got a reproduction so among the characteristics we've got a reproduction and this reproduction is just the bearing of uh, kids or offsprings of uh, of springs so uh, organisms are expected to give birth or to 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 produce to produce offsprings so when they produce offsprings of that of, offspring must be over the same nature okay if it is uh, a dog a dog will produce a young dog or baby dog or if it is uh, a human being a human being will produce a child a baby a human being we don't expect a human being to produce a dog no it doesn't work like that so that's why i've said it should be of the same nature okay all right there is also this characteristic which is called or which is said to be growing so when we say growing we expect organisms to grow. They grow, increase in size. Okay? They increase in size. Another one is locomotion. So this simply means movement or moving. <clears throat> Human beings move from one point to another beat in search for food going for work doing different activities okay they move even plants plants also move because plants are organisms they also move we've got uh, roots so for plants their roots move towards water so the plants their roots move towards water also the branches move towards light branches also move towards what light 
another one is sensitivity okay so an organism must have this characteristic also which is sensitivity so sensitivity here is uh, being aware of uh, an change okay being aware of any change let's say a human being touches fire okay they will sense or he or he or she will sense that he, she has touched fire okay so that's the thing even plants they do so they sense okay lastly we've got what we call excretion excretion so what is it what are we talking about so this is simply the removal removal of waste products waste products for example urine sweat that is the in human beings or animals urine or sweat okay so now we are done with the, the characteristics of uh, uh, organisms we now look at uh, what we call metabolism so what is the definition of metabolism you can simply say it's a chemical reaction which uh, which takes place in an organism which takes takes place so this takes place in an organism and is controlled by enzymes so in the next topic we we'll look at uh, uh, enzymes so if you don't know the enzymes you can do your research what are enzymes these are just catalysts they are just catalysts they they help out the chemical reaction to take place okay but they are not part of the chemical reaction this you need to know they give uh, an example of a key okay if you have got a lock and a key you can't say a lock uh, you can't say a key is part of a lock no the key will just help you to unlock the lock but it's not part of the the key i mean the the, the lock that's uh, that's that same statement applies to enzymes enzymes will just help you i mean will just help the chemical reaction to take place they are catalysts okay so for these metabolic reactions we've got uh, two types of them okay we've got what we call uh, anabolic reaction and catabolic reaction so for anabolic reaction you just say it's a breaking down um sorry it's a it's a building this is a building building up over over small molecules molecules to larger molecules okay so under this anabolic reaction you expect or we say energy is required so for this reaction we need energy energy is needed an example will be uh, the the conversion of glucose to gly uh, glycogen glycogen okay glucose to glycogen by the liver so there is energy needed for this process to happen okay so when we go to 
catabolic reaction. So for catabolic reaction, this is simply the opposite, the breaking down over large molecules, large molecules to smaller molecules. Okay? So here, large molecules are broken down. An example, uh, before I give an example, I'll say in this reaction, uh, NH is released. Here, for anabolic, NH is required. Here, it's released. So, an example would be, you take the food, okay? You take food, and that food is converted into NH. The NH that will uh, that you use if you want to do any work or if you want to do sports. So that's that's all about what I oh, that's that's what I can say all about yeah? catabolic reaction. All right. If you've enjoyed my video, kindly like, comment, and share.